Here's welcome to Epion. I'm with you today to discuss the listen narration. That means how to send the direct speech of interrogative sentences into indirect words. Let's start. Here the first example is My brother said to me, What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Here's here the speaker of this is this is my brother. So let's write first of all, my brother. Now here, so we know that uh, when the reported space is an interrogative sentence, we should write asked instead of said to. Ask me. Now you must remember that for assertive sentences, after the object of reporting verb, we wrote here that, but for interrogative sentences, we write person word. Here the person word, what? After writing the person word, we should write the person or the subject. Here the subject, you, subject or person, you. But you is second person. So we know second person will be changed following the object of reporting her here the object me that means you will be changed as I now the verb or it's time to change the tense here what are you doing now the direct is is in present continuous tense and uh, for present continuous tense we make it past continuous tense for making it past continuous tense, we should change only one form of auxiliary verb R. So we will turn it into what. Now doing and uh, time mentioning words now we know that now send this into then okay it's easy and simple my brother asked me what i was doing then here's let's take next example number two shifa said to shima how did you learn english how did you learn english here the speaker of this is this shifa asked me Asked Shima. Now we will write the question word to how. After writing the question word, we always write the subject or the person. Here the person also you. And uh, the second person will be changed following the object of reporting her Shima. It's a third person singular number. So Shima is a girl, we will write she. She first asked Shima how she hears how did you learn English? This direct is this or this reported is, is, is in past indefinite tense and we know for past indefinite tense we turn it into past perfect tense so we will write here had had and hardly or the past participle form of the verb learned English Okay, Shifa said to Shima, how did you learn English and uh, indirect species? Shifa asked Shima how she had learned English. The next example is, the man said to the guest, do you like tea? Do you like tea? The speaker of this sentence is the man, so let's write first of all the man. Asked. 
in the place of set to or instead of set to we should write ask the guest here we know basically interrogative sentences start with two ways one is with person what like when what why how and another is with auxiliary verbs like do have can could shall should am is are and so on so when interrogative sentence starts with auxiliary verb we should write if if after the object of reporting verb say to we should write if or after the reporting part we should write if now after writing if we should write the person that means sensed person here here the person or the subject you is second person so second person will be changed following the object of reporting her object of reporting her the guest is third person singular number so we should write he or she he now it's time to change the tense and to change the tense means to change the form of her do you like the this sentence is in present indefinite tense so we will make it past indefinite tense to turn it into past indefinite tense we should write after the subject we should write the past form of the verb like that means like 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 now object t it's okay the man asked the guest if he liked tea next example he said say to the students have you done the homework have you done the homework here the speaker of the reported is this teacher so first of all we will write teacher asked the students now we must write here if because this interrogative sentence also starts with auxiliary verb if now the person will be changed here you second person that means it will be changed following the object of reporting verb the students definitely third person plural number and so we will write they now changing of tense have you done the homework this sentence is in present perfect tense and present perfect tense changes into past perfect tense so we should write had and then past participle form of the verb done the homework Teacher asked the students if they had done the homework. Here's the next example is Mahin said to Nila, "Can you sing a song? Can you sing a song?" The speaker is Mahin, and said to will be asked Nila. if second person will be changed following the object that means nila the girl it will be she if she now hears can will be changed as could could sing a song Definitely correct. 
Mahi asked Nila if she could sing a song. If she could sing a song. Okay. Next example, Mr. Kim said to Mr. Trump, Mr. Kim said to Mr. Trump, Will you fight me? Will you fight me? That means Mr. Kim asked Mr. Trump. If if he for will we should write would that means will changes as would fight me will be changed as him When the model of the word can change this as good, will change this as good, then the principal verb or action verb remains unchanged. Sing, sing, fight, fight. Because the changes form of model of the verb could, could, these are also model of the verb. And we know. After the model of the verb, the principal verb or the main verb or the action verb always remain unchanged. According to this discussion, I'd like to give you a self word. You must try these sentences yourself. Here the first sentence is Mother said to father, Are you busy now? Second sentence Nuba said to me, Will you be my best friend? My friend said to me, when do you get up? He said to me, how are you? She said to us, will you play today? Viewers, this is all for today. Thanks very very much for being with me. See you very soon in the next class. Bye-bye.